In just two weeks of the competition, we've seen both the good and the bad from South, and they need to hope to become more consistent in future weeks if they're really going to become a force to be reckoned with in this competition. Today they get visitors from the far north. It is County's Manukau Steelers visiting a Rugby Park Stadium to face the Southland Stags. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflake Script, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the ITM Cup. We're into round three of the competition in Southland at home for the second week running. Visitors coming from County's Manukau for this match in South and have a couple of changes from the side that faced Otago last week. Scott Ed coming back in at scrum half. He gets his number nine jumper back. And it is in the back line, an inside centre that Carter Fanger returns into the team after a bit of a break. Willis Holoholo has really made that his own in recent weeks, recent seasons even. But Fanger is back, a classy player in his own right. Other than that, the team remains unchanged for the Stags. As for counties, they have such a quality lineup with big Super Rugby players throughout. When you go through their Ford pack of wee players like Puliasi Manu, Rainmakers, and Taufua from the Crusaders, that will be the ones you'll need to watch. Of course, Manu from the Chiefs as well. Big players, big names. They will guide around that young Ford pack and a very good Ford pack as well. Augustine Pulu will be in the number nine jumper. He will be a very electric and tough man to bring down for the Stags. He will guide his side, along with Baden Kerr, who is a very quality number 10 in the back line. There's more and more good players here. Bundy Aki and Lilo in the centres. You cannot forget about Halai out on the, the right wing. And Tuala, the fullback, is a young player with plenty of potential. Counties over the last couple of weeks have had some good results. They beat Otago 30 points to 12, but a the other match they've played in was a 12-8 loss to Wellington. So two teams with a similar season so far. Southland with a big great win over Manu two, and then the draw just playing silly rugby against Otago. Can they come right or will counties bring down too much flair, too much experience to Rugby Park Stadium? Set to get underway here. The Stags playing in this fantastic kit. Much hated kit from many Southern fans, but it is something definitely different. Counties in the red, black, and white stripes or hoops, as they call them. We're underway here. Round three of the ITM Cup. Counties get the ball down, and we are underway. And Vanga simply outstanding turnover who gives us straight away to Kerr. And Counties get the ball back. Out on the right-hand side, it's Lilo up against Loco. And Loco turns it over, gets a big break. He slips backwards, oh, and his pass, looking for Jackman, is just, just out of his grasp and goes into touch. What a start in this match we've had already. Toffolili will throw it. And he goes to the front, nicely pulled down. And Counties will drive, but Selfin have no problems letting them go straight into touch. And a mistake from the Steelers off the line out, something that they're quite strong at. But they've messed that one up quite impressively. Now it'll be Dylan Hullaholo to throw in for Southland to the front. Becky, a super rugby man. He is a quality jumper in the line out. Dixon to Sopawanga. And he slides through. Looks up with the grub run for Vanga. Oh, it just didn't quite sit up. And the end has come back for counties. The ball squirted around everywhere, but it did eventually find someone's home in their hands. And Southland goes short. Eight. Oh, intercept. And away we go, counties. Breaking away, Telfoa. McIntosh is giving chase, but they won't catch Telfoa. Here comes Nungalafe. He forces the pass. It's in foul for Aki. And Bunny Aki is just taken short. Just six metres out. Counties is this full 90 metre run. Now they look right. Numbers out here. Surely a try. Oh, it's knocked on from Halai. And the ball is said to be dead by South and don't tell me they're not going to play the scrum Crush. here. Oh, it's for Crush. counties. Miss a mistake from the ref. He's See. missed the knock on. <laughs> wow, Halai. Such a great finisher. He's messed that one up massively. County still for chance though. They've got the feed to the scrum. They're going to look to Halai again. They do. 
And he can't break away. It's the bonus to Cummings. Mangalafe offside, it seems, from that one. Pulu goes back and all. Oh, it's a horrible play from Bundy Aki. Kicks it straight in to the defensive line of tame little grubber. And just while we've got a second mention, the awesome kits there. I mean, the awesome transition and kits made from Don as a man. Thank you for that work. That is fantastic. Looks great. Check it out next time you see it. The transitional phase as we have a lineup kick taken here from Tuala. The kicking duties over Baden Kerr. Something of a surprise, but Tuala makes a good effort of it and gives County the lead with a penalty. It's 3 0. Steelers in front at the moment. Sopawanga will resume the match up and he goes deep down into the left side. Taken at the back for counties from Lilo. He finds Aki and then they swing it back for the lie. Who goes through one tackle? Kura Kura, horrible effort. And eventually Please. South and get numbers back in defense and they take him down. Good run from Halai. Here's Pulu. Pulu goes nowhere. Please. Pulu goes backwards and Pulu loses the ball. Eid. Fires it wide. Wenger back in the squad. Jackman. He's been good. Sopawanga. Oh, nailed. Great tackle on Lima Sopawanga. Eat again. Wenger. First receiver this time. Fires it wide for boys. They've got numbers out here. Jackman looking to go to the left side. Oh, he's grubbing through. He's left him for dust. But it's beaten them all into touch. Oh, he is an electric player is Jackman. He is really carving up these sides at the moment. It's a line out for counties. Not far out. Oh, they've lost it to Fenelofa. Sopawanga fires a big ball wide for Jackman. Goes second place. Oh, and Karakura's out. He stayed in though. A brilliant play from Karakura. Bicuous takes it into the tackle. He might lose this. South and just five out and they've lost the ball. Back for Kerr. And Kerr simply thumps this downfield. Oh, mistake there at the back. But Karakura's back to clean up. He runs straight at the county's line. And that's an odd pass there from Karakura. Jackman cleans up. And Loco gets it to Hardy. And Hardy goes to ground. And the teams have time now to assemble decent lines here. Why they go again. Karakura looks to straight and he offlines to Sopawanga. Sopawanga's got Vanga. Vanga's away. Now he looks in field. He's trying to find Sopawanga. Oh, he had no one. Sopawanga. Thought he had someone on his right shoulder. He's, well, he's messed that up again. The ball tamely goes into touch. Not the first time we've seen that tonight. And Counties get another line out. Been operating decently in this match as they look out to the right side. Halai hits the line hard and oh, oh, oh. Fang smashes him. Now it's a run through the big man and it's once again Halai goes through. Oh, Frankie Halai's out of here. It's a try for counties. Big dive, big celebration. Halai scores for counties and they extend their lead up to eight points. Something brilliant from Frank Halai. Well, it's X Factor. Look at this. Oh, just stepped in field. Nangalafe, no chance at all. Changes his direction just for the big dive. And Frank Halai, brilliant work through the dummy past Jackman. And Loco, no chance giving chase. Halai was far too quick. Tuala will line up the conversion. Already with a penalty to his, to his name. And this will end the first half as well. Time ticks on. There goes the buzzer. And Counties will take a 10 zip lead into the halftime break. Great kicking there from Tuala, but too many mistakes from the Stags. The home team have work to do in the second half if they're going to get back into this match. 10 0 is the scoreline. Counties have done it all. Southland have messed everything up just about. Possession is 44 to 56. Counties taking that, but Southland have had the territory 60 40. 
Both sides have made four kicks in that first half, and the line breaks are fairly even as well. Four to three, but it is counties who have scored the try. The penalty may prove to be a difference in the final layout of this match. But as for half time, it is 10 0 here in round three of the ITM Cup at Rugby Park in Southland. We have 40 minutes to go in this round three match. Can Southland come back from this horrible first half score as far as they're concerned? Counties have been good defensively, very sound. And when it comes to attacking, they've shown they have plenty of tools in that back line. What will the second half show for us? Let's get back to the action. Second half about to kick off. It's Counties leading Southland 10-0. Tuala has been a good find for them at fullback. His kicking has been invaluable for them. As he resumes the matchup, it sits up nicely and Southland get the ball brilliantly taken. Holo Holo finds it wide for Karakura. He's still got Jackman and the Stags look to break away instantly. Chipped over top from Jackman. He's sideswiped instantly and it's counties to get the ball back and they're starting to throw it around now. This is when they're dangerous. A run from Hayat, he goes Release. up towards the 10 metre line. And the counties will get slow ball back. Short play, back to Farth, and he goes through a couple before finally being Release. taken down. Again, and oh, again, it's another big run up. And Talfalele has been smashed from Eve. High tackle, how the little scrum half got up that high. Is puzzling enough, but Tuala will crash this one just over the touchline. And counties get the position and the territory that they're after. Line out for counties. Midway, 10 meter 22. Beautifully put down, and Kerr this time finally running for his receiver. Oh, and South has been done for offside. And now it's a forward pass from Counties. Oh, that's what the advantage was. It was an advantage to Southland. I thought that was against Southland there. That first tackle on Kerr. Crouch. Seemed like the ref was calling Crouch. an offside. But no. Forward pass from Kerr. Safe. And the stats will pack down the scrum. He feeds. Sticks it in the back. Number eight waits for it. Oh, Counties. Oh, big shot from the Steelers. And they will steal this ball. Pulu goes to Arke, who's looking to run it sideways by himself. Great tackle by his opposite. And Vang gets the job done defensively. Oh, big hit again. Southland have got the defensive duties underway. Short it goes for Manu. That's a good hit. Again, the Stags have numbers to the ruck. But they can't find it. Pulu goes to Firth. And now Firth going backwards as well. Southland dedicating big numbers to these rucks. And they get the ball back. Well done. Eid Sopawanga pops it up for Vanga. Vanga still looking wide for Karakura. He goes back and field for McIntosh. Big run from the big prop. Release. Counties though. Numbers around it. And they have got that straight back. Kerr looks to kick. He kicks it high. And Nangalafe has led that bounce. Not the best option there is Look who is completely hammered and isolated. Southland need to secure this ball quickly. They do. And back it goes, unsurprisingly, straight to Sopawanga, who's kicked it away from Tuala. And it's actually a not bad kick in the end. It's gone way up to halfway. That is a good excessive 50-metre kick from Lima Sopawanga. Such a talent, such a linchpin in the Stags outfit. It's the Steelers who have the line out throw. And to the back they go and Hyatt puts it down beautifully. And Tony Pulu's the one kicking now. Here's Nangalafe. He's going to run it back. Playing up. Passes in the tackle. Karakura is hammered. Ball and all at the same time. McIntosh. Short play to Jackman. And Jackman's busting away. He's kicked over the top. No one's at home. Hardy's giving chase. But Tuala goes back for it. Passes in the tackle. And Hyatt's running forward. Oh, this is a good play Release. from the Stags. Can they get the numbers dedicated to this ruck to get it big? They will. Yes, they do. Big
Red Bull. Wenger looking to run around the outside. Wenger's through. He looks the big pass. Sopawanga to Jackman. Has he got the pace? Has he ever? Jackman scores. The Stags are back in it with 10 to go. Well, it took them a long time to get into this match, but finally they do through possibly their most lethal weapon, has to be said. Vang, a great break. If he had someone who could have kept up, there would have been a try on the first hit there. But the support was a bit behind, but they got there eventually. Great work from Carter Vang. And Jackman has shown he's full of running. He's full of speed. He's full of talent. He's strong. And he's elusive. And he's got himself a try tonight. What's going to be important is this kick here from Lima Sopawanga. Ten to go. A slight breeze at his back, which will only help the kick. And he comes, strikes it. It looks good. It's straight and it is over. Well, if anything, Southland have secured without a bonus point if the score stays the same. Nine minutes. Could we have a Stags hero here? Or will they go win, loss and draw? Kickoff from Tuala. Hardy finds the ball and Jackman finds E. Fadilofa. Oh, his ball's gone backwards. He's lost it. Poor handling from the big second rower once again. As they look to go to the right now. Sopawanga passes Jackman in the tackle. Good ball out wide for Cutter Cutter, who puts on the steam. And away he goes. Finds an offline to Eid. Oh, Eid in the tackle has been hit high. Scott Eid's got up. Scott Eid's got up and played the ball. And away he goes up towards the halfway line, over the 10 meter line. But he's isolated and he's lost it. The Steelers with the ball and a good run through the middle. Oh, they might lose it again here, the Steelers. They do in the south and get a ball back. Here's Kuhn. Oh, that's a horrible piece of ball retention from the big prop. South and go back to their 22. Loco. Holo holo. Jackman. Oh, horrible stuff, Dixon. McIntosh. Now we're really on it. Extra time as Hardy finds it away. Kuhn's above the gear. Superwanger. Back to Vanga, who comes in looking for help. Can't find it. Southland though, secure the ball, which is the main thing. Holo holo. Sopawanga offloads to Dixon. Big pass for Hardy. They've got numbers out here. Jackman. Now, Jackman needs the support. He finds Bekuas, who gets McIntosh involved. And McIntosh goes rumbling Release. upfield. Southland have got no numbers here. They're going to lose the ball, and they do. Beckett goes, top fuller, gives it to Randy. Kerr. And Kerr's going to kick this out. And Counties will get the win. Well, the Steelers have come down to Rugby Park and they've had a close fought, tight match against the Stags and they've got the points. Southland will take a bonus and we will finish up here with a win, a draw and a loss for the Stags. They couldn't get the job done and now questions must be asked. No tries of note. The defence was pretty shaky and in the end, they've gone down by a Tuala penalty. 10-7, the final score. Jackman with the try in the 70th minute. Sopawanga added the extras, but for counties, it was a piece of Frank Halai magic that got them the one try they required, a conversion and a penalty from Tuala, ultimately giving them the win. Well, the Stags had so many opportunities in their second half, it just didn't finish off for them at all. We've seen in round one, Karakura, was fantastic as was loco they're just today they just have lost completely lost it they've not been on the end of the place they've not kept up with the breaks we saw just at the end of that match jackman made a bust and he just left loco for dust his own support if he was two on one but loco just could not keep up to finish that off 10-7 the final score look at the line breaks Counties added nothing in the second half. How did they hang on to that win? 10 and a half time, and they've done it without scoring in the second. Handling errors is where Southland will put down the mistakes. 11 to 4. That's a huge difference. The penalties, 
In the end, didn't cost them. The counties, they got the one they required. And in the end, it is points for counties, four to them. And now leapfrog Southland in the table, who will just get the one point from today's game. So let's see the standings and who we have next. Will it be Tasman? I think Tasman might be next up on the fixtures list. So we've had a few matches here from round three and four in between Southland's loss to Counties Manukau, where the score was 10-7. Since then, we've had Wellington with a win over Otago, 22-15. Manawatu, 21-11 over Northland. And Waikato getting the 29-15 win over Taranaki. Into round four, Otago bounced back to get a one-point win over North Harbour. They have plenty of five-point win over Taranaki. That's a great result. And we have our next match, Tasman. Up against Canterbury and for Southland, they play the final match of round four in away game against Hawks Bay. They, well, they're in a bit of trouble. They've got some soul searching to do. Do the stags. The standings look a bit like this. Southland have dropped one spot due to counties beating them. Counties going up to 10 points from that one. Southland's still on seven, but as you can see, there is a huge log jam on seven points, five teams on seven, a couple on eight. So a win is worth a lot at the moment. Tasman sits second on 12, Canterbury. Their opponents for the next match are just one point ahead. The bonus point on 13. And that's where we look. Oh dear, another shield defense for Tasman. Possibly as tough as it can get to against Canterbury and I'm afraid we have some bad news here for Quinton McDonald he is out for 23 days that's going to be about three or so rounds but of course we have the replacement who come on in the last match he will be adequate for our next game but there we go first injury for Tasman and they've got Canterbury at home ran through his shield defense in round four of the ICM Cup first versus second on the table it's going to be another cracker. Of course, those two are both Crusaders feeder franchises as well. Both coming from the top half of the South Island, Canterbury and Tasman, both part of the Crusaders catchment area. So that is what we have to look forward to for round four. Thank you all for watching today's match. The stack's not good enough to get up, but they'll be back again next time for sure. That is me for today, and I'll see you all next time. Tasman versus Canterbury. Until then, take care.